Hi, on today's exciting episode I'm going to show you fellas and fellas how to cook a boil up. This is a traditional kiwi meal, it's super quick, it's super easy and the good thing is you can just stretch it out for as long as you want to. Now back in the old days they just used to keep one big pot on the stove and then they just keep chucking stuff in and what happens when it cools down all the fat rises to the surface and seals it off so it keeps the food fresh underneath you have to put it in a cool place, you can't keep it on a fire all night and all day and all night and all day. Well you probably could actually. I don't know if it would taste that nice, I would have just end up as a big mush. Anyway, pretty simple, super quick, super easy. Now before I get started, I'd just like to mention that this video is sponsored by NordVPN and you can get an exclusive NordVPN deal. Hey, you can get an exclusive... I'll start that again. Take three. You can get an exclusive NordVPN deal by clicking on the link in the description down there. It's really easy to use. You can connect with one click or use Auto Connect for zero click protection. 5300 plus servers in 60 countries around the world so you can find the server near you for better speed or you can choose a far away location for more content on Netflix and other streaming platforms. You can access content from all over the world that they don't have in your home country. Pretty awesome. It's got amazing internet speeds. NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. You can use it on up to six devices on every major platform, Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS and Linux, even your Android TV will support it. So click on these links for more info on how it works and its features. What are its features? Well, some of my favorite ones, you can protect yourself from phishing, not um, phishing, it's when people get your passwords and hold you to ransom. Yeah, so password attacks, DTOS, DDoS, I don't actually know what that means. DDoS, you can Google that. Malware, malvertising, that's a nasty word, isn't it? Malvertising, or is it a nice word? I go with nasty word. Malvertising and ransomware, yes. That was what I was talking about before, stuff that gets on the computer, gets all your passwords, and then they hold you to ransom so you can get your passwords back because they lock you out of your blimmin' Gmail and all the rest of your online stuff. Yes. Travelers. When I travel, I like to use it because I can find cheaper flight tickets. I can access content in another country, the different online subscription services, or when I go to China, I use the VPN so I can still access YouTube, Google, and Facebook, and all of those bits and pieces. You can find streaming platforms in other countries that aren't available in your home country. The platform isn't available in your country. You simply change virtual locations. It's easy as. So you can get four months for free on a two-year plan using my link in the description, which is down there in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. All right, now we've got that out of the way. This is super easy. All you do is you just chop all your vegetables up, however you like, small, big, whatever, and you bang them in the pot. Now, what I've chosen to use for this is onions. Oh, hang on a minute. Chicken stock, or you can also use miso soup. I prefer to use miso soup than a stock because it's really, really good for you and it's so tasty. So, stock or miso soup, onion, potato, garlic, meat of your choice. I've got a couple of lamb chops here. Uh, for my greens, I just went outside of the garden and utilized some of the greens outside. Greens that you may have in your garden and you don't even know they're edible. Chickweed. Puha. Hound's tongue. Watercress. Got a bit of ginger there. Cabbage. Bay leaves. Have a Google on why bay leaves are really useful or healthy for cooking meat with. Not only do they add a nice flavour, they do all this other stuff as well. Carrots and parsnips. You can use whatever you want. You can just chuck any meat or any vegetables in there. Now the good thing about using meat of some description with the bones on is you get all the goodness out of the bones all the goodness out of it and you're essentially having a bone broth at the same time now i'm not sure if you're aware of the health benefits of bone broth but you bloody should be if you're not check it out have a google i'm not going to tell you them all there there's so many just so many health benefits so many there's there's heaps chop it all up chuck it in put some water on it chuck it on the oven boil the sh 
maybe not too much, otherwise everything goes mushy. Boil it for an hour or so, and then take it off the heat. Now, if you want it super tender, you boil it once, take it off the heat, let it cool down, and then boil it a second time. That's why it's so good the second night, because the meat gets super tender, everything falls off the bone. Now, you can even cook a roast this way. You can just bang a whole roast in a massive pot, and just chuck it on the oven and boil it up, and it comes out really, really good. So it's a super quick and easy meal to do. If I get up in the morning and I've got a busy day, I like the fire in the morning and the winter time, mind you, and then I'll just chuck all my ingredients in the pot, I'll chuck it on the stove, get it boiling, and then I'll damp the fire down and I'll just take it off the stove, put it on the fire, and then as that fire cools down, the meal cooks, so when I get home at night, if the fire's still warm, I've got a lukewarm meal that I can just wolf down, you know, and you're really hungry and you go and get a pie and the pie's too hot and you can't eat the pie because it's too bloody hot, well, you know what I mean. You get home and you're hungry, it's legal. Or you can put it in the oven and heat it up and have it piping hot really quickly. Check it out, it's a really good meal. It's super cheap. And you can use heaps of ingredients that are just out there in the garden. Watercress, look at this, there's watercress growing all over New Zealand. It's really easy to grow actually. You can just plant it in your garden. You don't even have to have it in water. You can plant it in dirt and it will grow. You've got to keep it watered of course because it's watercress and all that. I like to chuck my greens and my cabbage in right at the end, otherwise they go a bit mushy and soft. Especially the watercress and the chickpeas and the puha. So I'll cook everything and then just before I go to eat it, I'll just place them on top and let them steam nicely. Add a knob of butter, some salt and pepper. Uh, before I leave you, remember to check out NordVPN and all of the benefits that you can access by using this service. Link below. Cheers, tally -ho.